I got a call for some warranty work. It was a simple repair. If you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you the whole furniture set. look at it when we get in there but my guess is that, that pen's been stripped out well it's a treasure trove in there isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that one's just disengaged there might not be a big deal here's what the problem is this uh special bed bolt here has the threads stripped off of it when it's inserted into the cam lock here it doesn't engage the cam lock is relatively simple Let's see if i can take it apart here is basically three parts. It has a cam screw that engages those threads here and when the parts are put together see the arrow there that is the opening and you turn this after you put the bolt in you turn it with a wrench you turn it with a wrench and it tightens this up with those threads stripped out because it only catches on one side on the top side those threads there where they're stripped out, do not engage. I could turn it to the other side, but then the other end would be loose. Okay? So let me put that together and I'll show you what the replacement part looks like. So when put together, it has an insert that goes into the hole here. And then you thread this end of the bolt into that. Place it into the cam nut and tighten the cam nut. But with it stripped off, it doesn't work. So I tried to replace this hardware. Uh, whether I could get the specialized bed bolt or not, uh, didn't matter. I was going to either order it or the whole set, but it's only made in Britain. Not available here. Wasn't willing to wait weeks to get it here, so I found a replacement. The replacement is a little different technology. It has a curved washer that fits into the hole here. You put the nut on the all thread, piece of all thread, and thread it into a T-nut. Now the problem is that the old one is a fine thread and the new one is a standard thread. So, I have to replace the T-nut or the insert that goes into the bed. Problem is that these two 
are two different diameters. So what I have to do is I have to drill this hole out here so that the new insert will fit into the hole. Once I have that done, I can screw in the insert and put the bed back together. Yeah, we got to replace these inserts. Got a uh, fine thread insert and we need a standard thread. Well, it ain't pretty, but I think it'll work. That should get it.
I added a little hand cream to this to see if it would maybe drive a little easier and not raise quite so much of that surface grain. See how this works. Well, still raised the grain, but it drove a lot easier. I'm gonna wipe that off of there. Let's see if we can fix that. That feels flush now. Rail should set on there flush. It'll always be hidden by a rail. Whether it's in a crib or a day bed or a uh, full size bed, the rails should always hide that because they all connect the same way. Now, let's do the headboard. There's the footboard. And here's the headboard. Let's do it. Well, that didn't work too hard. Well, it's too hard to turn that screwdriver. Didn't bring any tools with me, but I'll tell you what I found. Found my grandson's toy hammer. Okay. It's uh, one he got just right after I made this bed for him, as a matter of fact. It's long forgotten. I don't know that he's uh, picked it up in years, but. Wouldn't it be justice if it worked to pull that insert out? Let's give it a shot. There it is. All right. What is they always say? Get the right tool for the job. Who to thunk? Toy box hammer.
Okay, let's see if this will go back together. figure out how to get that in there with these big old fingers of mine. Well, that ain't working. And it don't want to come out either. Try the other hand. Get outside. I can see it, but I can't get it. Oh, gotcha. Ain't no fine. All right, let's do the rest. Well, bed frame is complete. Got it put together. Pretty tight down here. No real gaps. Fits up pretty good. All corners. Give it the official wiggle test. It ain't moving, just a little dab of noise. I can probably touch them just a little bit tighter. I think I'll let him sleep on it for 
a week or so and then come back and take any slack out of them they got. I'll set you up over here while I put this bed together. Okay, so bed's done. Got it connected. Seems to be pretty solid. You can make it make just a little bit of noise. That's telling me probably I'll come back in a week or so and snug it after it's been slept in a little. Chest goes with it. And that's a wrap. I made this bedroom suite in 2003. It's uh, all made from red oak. The bed is what's called a lifetime bed. It converts from a crib into a youth bed and then into a full size bed. Made a chest to go with it. It uh, has six drawers. Each drawer has blind dovetails and all of the connections in the cross rails are mortised. Baby changing table was the third piece in the suite and as you can see I was much younger then. Thanks for watching and please poke that like button.